Hey, Robinson Middle School, I'm Dr. Goldrich. Probably know a bunch of you because I'm your orthodontist. And today I'm going to talk to you about my career and what we do. Thanks so much and I hope you enjoy. And next year, I hope to see you in person. So after high school, I went to University of Texas, Hook'em Horns, uh, for four years. I got a psychology degree with a minor in zoology and a pre, I was pre-dent, so I had to take pre-dental classes. Then I had to take what's called the DAT, which is the Dental Aptitude Test. It's an entrance exam. After that, I went to San Antonio for my dental school training, and that's where I became a dentist, and that's a four-year program. After that, I went to Baylor College of Dentistry here in Dallas. It was a two-year program, some mostly now are three years, and that's where I got my orthodontic certificate as well as my master's in science. So that's what you need to become an orthodontist. Some of you may wonder what the difference is between a dentist and an orthodontist. So I want to explain that a little bit. So after dental school, I went to my orthodontic training and all we did was learn how to do braces and Invisalign and straighten people's teeth. A dentist goes to dental school for four years and then they become a dentist and dentists mainly do fillings, root canals, dentures, cleanings and things like that. I was a psychology major, but I really wanted to have a profession where I worked with my hands a lot. And I also wanted to incorporate science and art into my profession. So orthodontics was a perfect fit because we actually make a huge impact on people's lives. We change their lives, we make their smile better. Um, it, it incorporates technology, art and science. Um, I get to work with my hands every day and create amazing smiles. There's almost no emergencies on the weekends. Um, you get to own your own business and you also get to make a comfortable living. I wanna let you know what your options are for employment. So firstly, you can open up your own practice like I did um, and then start to market and try to get patients. Secondly, you can work for a large group and get paid a salary. Thirdly, you can work for an individual instead of a large group and again, get paid a salary or you can become an associate which could lead into a partnership and then you could buy the practice once you become a partner. Or you can buy an existing practice. So somebody who's retiring, um, you can buy their practice and continue on their legacy. Another cool thing about orthodontics is the technology that we've incorporated into our practices. The first one is we do 3D x-ray. We can see a lot of things very closely that we were not able to see with traditional 2D x-rays. Like this canine bumping into this lateral and it's starting to make the root of the lateral get a lot shorter. So we're very fortunate to have one of those machines in our office where just a 20 second scan we can see this type of detail. Another really cool thing is a, a scanning technology. So we can scan the teeth like this video shows in 3D. And from this 3D scan, we can actually make a 3D model. We have a printer here in the office where we print a 3D model. So I wanna introduce you to Alexa. This is Alexa and she came to me with a bite that was very open and her teeth were very crooked. And she was having a really hard time eating. So what we had to do with her is we had to remove some teeth, we had to put braces on her teeth, and then she had to have some surgery done to move the bones around to make her teeth come together like, like that. Look and see a different, the difference in her eyes, in her demeanor, in her face and how beautiful she is after she had this procedure. This impact on someone's life will last her a lifetime and make a really big difference in her life. And that's why I enjoy orthodontics so much. All right, now that you know a little bit about the field of orthodontics, I wanna leave you with a few words of wisdom. Number one, if you love what you do, you never have to work a day in your life. 
So it's really important to pick a field that you really love and, you, and you're passionate about. I feel like I'm doing my hobby every day, so it's very easy for me to come to work. And number two, if you set your mind to it, you can do whatever you want. Never give up. It will really serve you well. And be very persistent and always go for your dreams. And I wish you the best of luck. I also want to mention that if you're interested in the field of orthodontics, we welcome you into our office. And if you're interested in doing an internship, uh, we do have interns every year in the summer. We'd be happy to take a look at it, have you fill out an application and take a look at it. And if we're a good fit, then you're welcome to intern in our office. I look forward to seeing what you guys do in the rest of your life. And we'll talk next year. Thanks so much.